I feel like this is the most emotional episode of all this like of all the episodes like everything was falling in place and i was loving every bit of it hey guys welcome back to sahara movies i'm sure you also felt the same yes finally finally oh our long-awaited episode is here it was supposed to come i think last two weeks but because of the commotion in nigeria that is how come they had to postpone it to this like to this day but all the same all being good we are able to get an hour one full hour of goodness if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe for more videos and more updates let's get started we'll be delving into the final the finale of the men's club season three episode 13 we will we'll really go into to like into details of the episode so we'll start with um how it ended in episode 12 aminu patrick his dad his secretary mohammed and all the halabalu fights disagreement like a whole lot like putting amino in such a great mess so um this episode i was even thinking that amino even though he's a rich man his dad said that if he doesn't handle the business well he's going to transfer his wealth to his younger brother patrick and you know it didn't seem right since he's a first boy he's a firstborn and he's a man also he's supposed to at least enjoy some privileges so if they are transferring his wealth to his younger brother i was thinking patrick is that is all patrick wanted but the final episode told me something else patrick is someone like he has a good heart because the final good morning sorry that was my ringtone <laughs> so i was talking about patrick so i was thinking patrick has a very naughty attitude he's greedy he's selfish okay he, it could be that that was really his attitude but he has changed or he has he has repented let me say he has he has enlightened his intelligence to accept that he doesn't have to be greedy on some things he just has to leave he just has to leave some things to solve on their own he just have to leave some things on their own even patrick's dad was surprised that now patrick is supporting aminu myself i was even shocked because we know that patrick is someone who is is fighting to get what aminu has he wants aminu to lose everything so that he can he can get it like he can get it and he told us he proved us otherwise like like we are seeing a good patrick now if there should be a season four we are seeing a different kind of patrick and i'm happy about that now let's go to aminu and his friends aminu happens to be someone who is surrounded by three good friends three people who support who encourage who like they are with you when Amino was going through a lot, like a lot, they sat him down and advised him. They encouraged him. Aminu, please, this is not you. You have to sit back. You, like, you just have to leave some things to solve the, uh, on their own. But, you know, sometimes when things bother you so much, you just don't want to leave them to 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 work out on their own you want to take action and that is what aminu was going through he just felt the need to do that himself like he was going through a lot of feelings depression disappointment betrayal a lot like so he just wanted to avenge avenge he just wanted to listen to his heart he wasn't even listening to tumini and I'm asking that if Aminu cannot listen to Tumini, then who else should he listen to? Because Tumini advised him several times to just leave it, to just let it go. But he wouldn't listen. So his friends sitting him down and advising him was quite pointless. But I'm happy that at least they sat him down and then encouraged him and then talked him and also talked him against it that that is a wrong decision he is trying to make so aminu eventually had to follow his heart and do what his heart was pushing him to do and when he was done with it he felt good he felt comfortable like he felt satisfied that he has been able to satisfy his emotions now let's go to um the happy ever after the lived happily ever after louise and lola 
when I saw Lola in Mrs. Okafo's house um, telling her about her wedding, I was quite disappointed that why wouldn't Lola leave this woman alone? Why wouldn't like why wouldn't she just let it go, let it slide, like just forget it? See, see, some people are there, you just don't have to involve them in your life. But that is a mindset Lola changed for me because there's a difference between doing what is right and doing what is good. Yes, so Lola did what was right. Yes, even though in my eyes or in the eyes of someone who has really seen what Mrs. Okafu has been doing to Lola, will say it's a bad thing she did, but she did what was right. And fortunately, Mrs. Okafu um, reacted to Lola's like let me should i say appeal appeal positively like it was very positive i was surprised when i saw mrs okafo in lola's house and she was all calm all quiet you know that she doesn't like lola and she finally accepted that his she finally accepted that her son's heart belonged to a woman she cannot change that that fact so she definitely has to accept that fact and i appreciate Lola for the bold step she took in going to Mrs. Okafo's house and inviting her to her wedding. Yes, that's good news to Lola. I'm so happy about it. Now to the person who stays for older women, no one can change. Larry. Yes, finally, Larry, like, he shot a shot and then, like, he succeeded in shooting his shot. Like, he has been asking his sugar mommy for forgiveness, been saying sorry for a whole like Larry became so depressed, he became lonely. It was obvious as soon as you see him, you see that no, this man is going through a huge problem. But eventually, Larry had to ask Mrs. Okafo for forgiveness, and Mrs. Okafo accepted it. And I was so so happy about it. So, this was an episode of reunion everyone coming back together like the bonds were becoming stronger and stronger and stronger now to tiara and tayo we know tayo to be someone who is so confused about his feelings like he doesn't know who to choose inside his heart he wants to choose someone but i'm thinking the person doesn't reach his qualification that's how come he couldn't accept or he didn't accept Tiara. I'm very happy that Tiara's dad who has been able to move Tiara from that rehabilitation center to another place, like flew her out. Like I was I was like, yes, this is the this is a very manly decision that he took. So now Tia and Tayo will have to be alone because he, he is not sure about his feelings he's indecisive about his feelings so if you are indecisive about his your feelings you cannot waste my time yes if there should be another season tiara should be a better woman and tayo will be the one hunting for her yes and i agree to that let me know your thoughts on this final on this finale what you think about it and what are the lessons you've learned from this series um the morals and other stuff let me know your thoughts in the comments below the part where lola lost her child and then louise was so so supportive i had to chip in this it was so cool like lola lost her child and louise was very very supportive some men can be difficult sometimes when it comes to childbirth and all that i hope losing this child doesn't cause any problem to um in the future for louis and lola i'm just hoping it doesn't happen that way now talking about a child hmm, jasmine our dear promise is stranded she's not stranded because where she looked like she was lying on a very comfortable bed she calls her mom that she needs she needs help and all that i was thinking she's that they're going to give her some like some high-tech help oh, like that was what i was thinking but then we see Aminu and Tumini dancing. They go into the room. They see the maid with a child. Like, oh, Jasmine, you can't even take care of your child. Like, this episode, there's a lot to say at the same time. There's nothing to say. Like, that is how I'm feeling about this episode. It's just very complete. We can't ask for a season four. Honestly, this is a complete season. This is a complete episode. We can't ask for a season four. 
I trust that Amino and Tumino will be the perfect parent for the baby. I'm very positive about it. But the issue is, will Patrick try to take the child back in the future? I hope he doesn't. Will Patrick try to take the child back in the future? He shouldn't do anything crazy because, um, you know, people, when they realize that the child is growing into a wealthy family, becoming rich and like he's, he's going through the right path, they want to take advantage. They want to do bad stuff. Yeah, so... I want to say that Patrick should day his lane. Like, he shouldn't try to venture into Aminu and Tumini's life, trying to take the child. That should be a warning. So, all the same, the episode was fun. The series has been good. There's been good morals to it, um, good lessons, costumes, dressing. Like, me, sometimes I look at how they dress, the way they speak, the way they comport themselves. Yeah, it's... It has been an amazing journey with the men's club. Yeah, Red TV has been so good to us. Let me know what you think about the final episode. All right, for today. Till next time. Bye.